أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وأولى الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajeezu, da'ifu, miskinu, zalim and that Allah is immense rahmah and grace that keeps us in existence. Alhamdulillah in this holy month Rabbi Thani the fourth lunar month with the power of only Allah power of their knowledges and realities that they bring for us the understanding of the importance of nine and the Sultanat of Sayyidina Muhammad that that nine times four is thirty-six and that opens for us the Surah, Surah Yaseen Surah of the heart of Holy Qur'an and this journey from, from Taha, not Taha Taseen, Taseen last month to Sayyidina Yaseen And the immensity of the heart of Holy Qur'an, Manzil Qur'an, the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad That when Allah is going to swear by the immensity of this reality by Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Yaseen. Well, Qur'an al-Hakim, innaka kalima al-mursaleen ala sirat al-mustaqeem. So Allah is granting these uloom and the knowledge is imagine the immensity of this reality that Allah ordered Sayyidina Muhammad tell your nation to recite this surah over all those whom are passing from this world. Giving Allah giving them a last chance to be dressed by the immensity of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad You have the Yaseen book, Junaid up there. That all of that and all this reality brought out, thank you This is the Yaseen book, what was this called? Yaseen. <laughs> so all these realities of Surat Yaseen. And all of this is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that granted to the tariqah, granted to this reality in the last days. That these knowledges they're not found anywhere, they're not found in books, they're not found to be brought out and they give permission to bring these realities out because of the last days and the immensity of difficulty and darkness that comes upon the earth and with this uloom and these knowledges that the soul reach to a yaqeen and certainty. That Allah when giving for us that when they recite, Ya Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Ya Seen, immediately something is coming into the soul of that person. They know it, they don't know it, it doesn't matter because Allah is the one gifting these realities. If they know the uloom, the alhamdulillah, that's why you get the book, read it, understand so that you participate in these realities, meditate upon these realities so that these knowledges can blossom exponentially within the heart and the soul of the individual. All these knowledges and Allah swears by Holy Qur'an which means the power of the entire created universe. Wal Qur'an al Hakim and that every wisdom and knowledge in whom Allah bestows wisdom and knowledge has been granted Allah's greatest gift. Not money but wisdom and knowledge Allah grants, it's a grant from the highest reality of Allah to grant His servants. So then this Yaseen that Allah is swearing by of this reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and then swears by Holy Qur'an and all the wisdom that going to be brought to you, then awliyaullah come into our lives and begin to teach that kalam al-mursaleen that every knowledge is from words. Anything written on a book that going to manifest, not manifest is with these letters. These letters you put into words, these words you put into sentences. All of these knowledges that come are based on these letters. So then who owns these letters? 
These are all gifted, Allah gifted all of what? The heavens and the earth and everything between them, سَخَلَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَجَمِيعًا to you. We have subjected all of heavens and earth and anything you can find. So this is like a capture all clause in your contract that anything else you could think of Allah says, no it's captured all, it's all in the parentheses, سَخَلَ لَكُمْ We've given all of this to you, Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasulul Kareem. It's all you. If they don't understand that, they think there's knowledge is separate. There is no knowledge separate. All uloom that going to manifest is manifesting through the tongue of Allah which is Sayyidina Muhammad because Allah won't speak to you. Allah speaks haqq, Allah speaks behind a veil so they don't hear. But when Allah wants to speak to, He speaks through Rasul Allah. So it means every uloom and every knowledge is coming through the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah resides within his heart and his power and his soul. The power of his soul is Allah's qudra and might. So when they want to understand all these words they don't go and try to memorize everything. What does this word mean? What does that word mean? Know that Allah is showing the simple huruf that when Allah want to, to give a servant knowledges, He's going to give them the ya. Just merely He dresses the servant with ya. And this from every word in this huruf, any kalam you come up with has a alif, ba, ta, ta. So this alif, all these knowledges will be compacted to this. Ya and this Ya is compri- comprised of Ya and Alif and that's why it's Ya and Alif. So it's compacted. So every letter that Allah wants to teach you, He's not going to teach you each word, oh this word, think about it, here's the knowledges of it. No, Allah says, just the servant with Ya. They'll be given all these knowledges, the more they contemplate, the more they focus the more that knowledge will begin to expand itself. So all the letters are comprised from alif to ya, so then the ya symbolizes knowledge. So ya of yaseen symbolizes knowledge, this side, this side, ya, ya and then Haji Lloyd can put it on the screen for the home audience. Right? So all Qur'an is in the back. All Qur'an in 30 juz, 30 juz, in Fatiha, all of Fatiha, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, all of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem in back. If Allah want to give you the ulum of Qur'an, he dress you with ba. Merely they say ba and Allah open their soul and every knowledge is put into them. They don't know every knowledge but it resides within the alam al Qur'an khalaq al insan. I taught you all these, I put it all in your program. Your responsibility was to come to this earth, go into your program and retrieve what Allah gave to you. Like a space aliens, we're supposed to come here from where we came in paradise and we were supposed to retrieve our coordinates. But we came here and said, wow, this is like really nice and we forgot what we came with. I was like, well, what are you doing? You know, we're running around, we're playing, doing all sorts of things. And then they forgot they even were given a code. When Allah says, Alam al-Qur'an. Khalaq al insan. I taught all these realities onto you. They were all programmed in codes. Anyone who knows co- computer programming, you know that they're encapsulated codes. Allah doesn't have to give you the whole text, just give you a little code that when you hit that, everything opens. 
don't have to give you all these sentences and download in 20 minutes and five hours of, uh, of downloading. You merely give it all encapsulated within a ba and the angel sends the ba into the soul. And as soon as they recite Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, that's why Mawlana Shaykh would say, recite Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. They, they, they recite with tafakkur, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Each time they recite that, that ba is expanding its uloom and that knowledge for the servant. And the more they contemplate, the more they make their madad, the more they train, these knowledges become stronger and stronger. Something that they're watering that was once a little tree, little flower becomes like a huge tree of, of realities. And that gives them their yaqeen where their roots are deep into their reality and they're firm. And that's why they're like the awtad. Allah describes some category of awliya like awtad. They're like the pegs that keep this earth to be not moving. In the midst of difficulty their presence will stabilize the earth and these are from the awtad. So it means how? Because the uloom and the knowledges through their tafakkur and their contemplation Allah is dressing them with knowledges and powers. Because the knowledge has power, it's not an empty knowledge, it's a knowledge into the Divinely Presence. And as a result of that knowledge dresses their soul, blesses their soul and grants them from Allah's qudra, Qaf al Qur'an al Majeed, all of these are these codes. Qaf al Qur'an al Majeed, when Allah want to give the servant qudra, He gives them Qaf. And immediately the qaf comes into their soul while Qur'an and Majeed, so from power of Holy Qur'an their soul is emanating these knowledges, these realities and these qutra. So definitely Holy Qur'an is encoded. Otherwise every jihad pick up and read and get all these knowledges, no. These are categories, they are reading merely furqan. They read a book of right and wrong and its reality doesn't open until the love and muhabbat of the Arabic Messenger Sayyidina Muhammad Because you have to have the love of Prophet it's illuminating knowledges from his Divinely Soul. With that love and that ishq and that muhabbat Prophet is illuminating all those realities. Because the dress of Prophet dresses that and begins to illuminate and, and blossom all those realities onto the servant. So when Allah giving the servant, Ya and every time they recite, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ya, Allah sends these knowledges into their soul. And imagine then the, the one whom is parting this world. If they knew it then alhamdulillah if they didn't know these realities, this is the immense love and rahmah of Allah for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad that they recite Surat Yaseen upon them. Because every, every verse of holy, holy Surah is immense in its realities because they're all related to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So this is the headquarters, headquarters of Holy Qur'an. The powerhouse of Holy Qur'an is the heart of Prophet as we're reciting and every time we recite from Surat Al-Yaseen the immense power from that power station is dressing the servant. You see the secret of that secret is Surah Fatiha but that we're going to later. Ya, so is all knowledges, as soon as we say Ya. Allah encapsulating all uloom, every kalam. So they don't have to look for each word and try to understand the secret of this word, the secret of that word. That through their tafakkur and their contemplation Allah has already deposited. And every time they recite the surah, Ya Seen, and they do in their tafakkur, Ya Seen, Allah expands their heart with these uloom that contained within that Ya. Then Allah grant them from the realities of seen. So we said the seen is the sir and the secret. So Prophet is the ya and is the seen. 
He is the knowledge Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right? There's no way to Allah except through Muhammadun Rasulullah You can't get to La ilaha illallah, it's reality. You can say it to come to oneness but you can't reach the reality of, of that tawheed without coming through the door of Muhammadun Rasulullah And Allah says in Qur'an to all the Prophets, if He comes in your time do you take your allegiance to Sayyidina Muhammad because they all have to go through Muhammad Rasulullah So when did they take their allegiance? On Israhi wal Maraj. When Prophet sent them as a mercy was sent to Jerusalem. And who were there? All the Prophets and Messengers of Allah They did what? They took their salah and the salah they take their shahada. So everything is under La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah and the deen of Allah is Islam, it's finished. So it means there's no way to that knowledge without that door. So as a result he is the secret. So every time we say Yaseen we are confirming there is no knowledge except what's contained within the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad when he speaks it's the amr of Allah When Sayyidina Muhammad speaks through his soul it is the command of Allah And what Allah describes the kullu amru wal irada, every amr and command and my will is within the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So the manifest is what's spoken. And the will of Allah that not manifested is hidden within the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So then there is no knowledge except through the knowledge and the light of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why the course he describes him, describes that reality. So when Allah want to grant that secret and that seen Means that is the secret of all light and the light of all secrets. And this what everything in creation is searching for that reality. So then the love and the movement towards the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad is the movement towards all knowledges, ulumul awwaleen wa akhireen, ilma laduni wa hikmati bi saliheen. Because Allah confirms that all the Qur'an knowledges and the hikmah are swore by it by Yaseen So then Allah grant the servant the seen. So when they're searching for that seen and asked to be dressed by that seen, only the companionship of awliyaullah can grant them these realities. So then they are the custodians of the reality of Ya and Seen. When you accompany them they grant you from Ilmu Yaqeen, these are all the knowledges that are contained in this reality because they don't teach you counting unless they have to but they can't do that too. But they teach you all the knowledges. So everything they teach is to confirm this Ya that they have. They have those knowledges that Allah has bestowed upon them and as a result Allah gave them yaqeen because the ya also stands for yaqeen and certainty. They are the owners of ya because that ya will now describe their sir and their secret of who they are because they are the reflections on earth to bring you to Sayyidina Yaseen So Allah must have dressed them first because they can't dress you if they don't have it with Ya, granted them Yaqeen, granted them from Alif all the huruf to Ya encapsulated with Ya and say, all these uloom are in your heart and it's anciently been given to you. We don't care what you were doing as a kid and what you do is this, this was given to you in paradise. You came onto this earth with that reality, nothing is achieved here. 
there's nothing here to achieve, you can't do anything to achieve that reality. But look at the dunya we're living in, can you possibly achieve anything? No, we can't, you can't even win the lottery here, you can't do nothing on this earth, this is the boat of nothingness. This must have been given alam al-Qur'an. These are ancient knowledges that Allah has bestowed upon these souls. When Allah want to bring their knowledge out and their reality out, Allah merely activate them and then cause them to have good character, good amal, good actions and then guide them. And that's why Allah says, there's no guidance when, except for when I guide. Allah had to have activated the servant, perfected them, directed them into the correct direction and began to teach them. That because now all their knowledges are coming out as a result, those knowledges have to be bestowed to people whom are guided. That's why many people may come to the door of this center and walk away, may come to the channel of this center, walk away. People say, oh there should be like you know hundred thousand views for this video but there's two thousand. Well because Allah allowed those two thousand to understand that uloom and it's not available for everyone. It doesn't make sense to most people, it's not in the program of most people and if they listen to it they pass out because it shuts their computer system down. It's like they have no access code, no permission to listen, as soon as they hear it they're out, their systems have shut off, it's beyond their understanding or for their level. So means this uloom and these knowledges of these servants they're granted the ya. They're granted yaqeen, they're granted certainty. So then they begin to dress you with the seen because they are walking sir, they are walking secret upon this earth. They'll teach you from the first of the seen because like a W has these three oceans. The first is ilmu yaqeen. So we have to be sitting in an association with one of these shaykhs of ya that their uloom and their knowledges are not from understanding and not from books. Not somebody read the uloom of another shaykh but they are the shaykh. So they have this ilmu yaqeen and as a result of their ilmu yaqeen the ones whom are being fed from them because the knowledges are food. When you're hungry you sit at the table, when you're full you walk away from the table. But you are being fed from their knowledges. That's ilmu yaqeen that we hear it, we're moving with our soul into it because these uloom they dress the soul. You hear it and at night you don't ask but your soul will ask, I heard a Divinely knowledge, a knowledge from the Muhammadan kingdom Ya Rabbi led me to be dressed by it. And as a result of ilmu yaqeen they are moving into the knowledges of certainty. The shaykh of Ya then has to be training the students the same. This is how you know their qamil and their perfected curriculum. That they have to be training you, I know yaqeen. Now it's like the mystery of tariqah, nobody's teaching I know yaqeen. Look at me with your eyes all the time, what are you going to see? You're just going to say, this guy has a beard, he's got a job, it don't look any special to me. But that's not the eyes you're supposed to be training with. You have to be sitting with somebody who's training you with ayna yaqeen. Timeless reality. Yeah. Most of the questions they have is already in here. There's a day coming when the internet's going to shut. I already posted, they said half of Europe shut down on the BBC. They kind of shut it down, they're going to do what they want to do. But if you don't understand these knowledges, this is a time to acquire. Not later when it's, oh yeah Shaykh was right, look the power's off everywhere, <laughs> there's, there's the gargoyles entering our dimension and <laughs> they say, now I want to learn tafakkur. You have to do that now. Even now is becoming difficult, dunya is becoming more and more different. But the shaykh of yaqeen and certainty he has to be teaching ilmu yaqeen. But this ilmu yaqeen doesn't take its true understanding 
until the shaykh begins to train the students with ayna yaqeen that don't absorb this knowledge with your exterior faculties. The ears you have eh, of no value to us, the eye you're looking at me with and trying to compare me as you're not anything special, I see you, is not going to be of any benefit. All the external faculties are of no use. So then he trains you on how to use your internal faculty, sit and meditate. Make your room dark like your grave, maybe one candle if you're too scared, right? Meditate, contemplate, listen to salawats, think of yourself in the presence of Prophet and think of yourself, I'm going to die in a situation of ignorance, nothing's opening for me, please open and connect my heart, I'm nothing, I'm nothing and meditate, dress me from oceans of light, dress me from all these beatific realities and they sit and they sit and they sit. And they cry and they cry and they cry and Allah begin to open and they become Ahlul Basira. They trust more their heart and they know the deception of their eyes. They know these eyes are completely under deception. They want to know what their heart is contemplating and they train with their heart and they meditate with their heart and in the heart realm they accompany all their shaykhs. In the physical realm they may be very far away but in their heart they're right there present with them, present in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad presence of Imam Ali Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jailani all whom Allah are pleased with, they're all in the same association. You don't have to go far to find them, right? You don't go through heavens looking. Where can I find this one? Can, they're all with Allah That's what Allah is describing, He's not describing a location on earth. Nabeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhada wa Salihin, they're in the same room. And who's with them? Allah Allah's eminence and power and, and radiant tajalli is in that association. As soon as they enter with their soul into that association, their realities actually they block out everything else and they focus to Prophet If that's not what's to be commanded then they'll be given their heart that focus on your shaykh and they'll focus everything out and they'll focus on to their shaykh because he's sending now a tajalli upon. If they talk about Sayyidina Ali in that same association they'll blur everything out and go into the presence of Sayyidina so that he can mirror that reflection. So they don't have to search, they're all in the same room and Allah is with them. This is an ocean of power and realities. So then this shaykh of yaqeen has to be teaching them, ilmu yaqeen wa aynu yaqeen. As a result the knowledges that they're acquiring, they're tasting its true fruit because they are opening through their soul. Otherwise if they're just using the faculty of their head, they're saying, oh I don't know, maybe, I don't know and trying to absorb it in the head and that's not the place for this knowledge. It's not a debatable knowledge where you think maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe he meant this. No, but this is a yaqeen and certainty that as soon as they hear these knowledges, they meditate the knowledges, they begin to take feelings and tastes from that knowledge. And they'll begin to understand the reality of that knowledge, they'll taste it and witness that knowledge. Again depending upon their strength, if their strength is strong, as soon as the shaykh is speaking they're witnessing that reality. They're being dressed by its reality and it burns onto their soul, as a result they can speak about that reality. It's already encrypted upon their soul. Their talks and sobats is like a Google. They're merely reference into their soul, subject and then it begin to come out because it's already been burned onto their reality. It's not here. Here you get dementia. When you get old, the one whom applied all his thought to here, Allah says, we take you back to a feeble state because you used your head and you put too much energy on the head as a result it actually fries the circuits. So all of these big professors 
they all have dementia because they were putting all their power here and Allah described them like a donkey carrying books. They carry thousand books and read, 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 memorize every day because they're forgetting every day. So they put so much focus here, dementia is because they put too much energy on their head. Where we did the reverse, we said, empty your head. So Mama <laughs> Shaykh would say, no head people, no head people, it was actually a compliment because you didn't use your head, you used your heart. So, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, La in my head, I, this is not my head, illallah into my heart. So means their tafakkur and contemplation is everything through their heart. These knowledges into their heart, as a result of these knowledges and their contemplation and the yaqeen and certainty of their ayn, their vision of the heart, the Ahlul Basira, then the third is opening for them drop by drop, haqq yaqeen. So they have to be in a school of knowledges of certainty, trained by a shaykh of Aynul Yaqeen, of the vision of certainty. This knowledge and this vision is producing for the student the haqq of certainty. If anyone is missing, not achievable. If they're not being fed ilm al yaqeen then they're, they're going nowhere. And if they're not being trained in Ayn al yaqeen on how to connect their heart because it's not for here in the eyes, it's for here. If someone's not training with their heart on how to connect and how to make their connection, they can't achieve the haqq yaqeen. But if they are trained by knowledges of reality and certainty, by a shaykh of certainty, trained in the vision of certainty and then trained in that vision and knowledge is producing for them haqq yaqeen. So then the student is witnessing, it's a truth. They say, that shaykh is truth, what he said, I, I experienced it, I witnessed it. And they say that to themselves, that's how they know their shaykh because of what the shaykh is, is giving to them in their heart and in their soul. And these are haqq yaqeen that is for all of eternity for them. And that's the importance of their role is to convey. And then what Allah Zawajal wa jalil mul yaqeen, ayn al yaqeen, haqq yaqeen, yaseen wal Qur'an al hakeem So when Allah Zawajal is giving this ya and giving the secrets of this seen unto the servant. Allah then testifying one Qur'an and Hakeem <laughs> means the real knowledges and the power that being dressed upon the servant is the Qur'an. Because Allah is not going to teach you the knowledges of just anything. These uloom and these knowledges that are coming to you Allah is swearing by Qur'an. Wal Qur'an and Hakeem and every hikmah and wisdom of Holy Qur'an because everything is contained in Holy Qur'an. Every knowledge is contained in Holy Qur'an, it's emanating from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So means then they know the Qur'an, they know the reality of its huruf and its inner depth of realities that are limitless, all from these are kalim al-mursaleen. Because all these kalam, all these huruf, these are all in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Fala sirat al-mustaqeem Because Prophet ﷺ's name is Sayyidina Sirat al-mustaqeem So this knowledge and this love and this reality, these knowledges that will be conveyed by the shaykhs, then Allah is describing for us the immensity of its power, that it's the power of Holy Qur'an, the realities of Holy Qur'an that are dressing the servant. And they are from Kalim al-Mursaleen, they are from the realities of Sayyidina Muhammad And those realities are keeping you on the reality of what really is Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Not what outer people understood but the khawas what they understood. Outer people see a knife, 
that they have to <laughs> they have to walk on. And they have to walk on this knife to get to the other side. But what if that knife is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad where his name is Sirat al-Mustaqeem, Dalal al-Khira, Sayyidina Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Uh, that all these knowledges and all that what Allah want to dress the servant, you're being dressed with Sirat al-Mustaqeem. You're being dressed by the reality of that reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that Prophet is making you Muhammadiyoon, making you to be dressed and blessed, making you and duplicating you from himself Means that's the immensity of these lights and these knowledges, the one whom achieving these realities, dressed by these knowledges, dressed by these knowledges. And what, what they're becoming? They're becoming Muhammadiyoon. And that's why Haqiqat al Muhammadiyya is the highest of realities. That if all knowledges are in the heart of Prophet then imagine the centermost reality is Haqiqat al Muhammadiyya. The one whom eating and drinking and feeding from that reality is becoming as they draw closer and closer and closer. They're becoming Muhammadiyoon and their whole reality becomes Sirat al-Mustaqeem. And that's why they teach and they talk in a way that people don't understand, especially not zahiri external people. We pray that Allah address us with the immensity of this holy month, the immensity of the light and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Bi Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi Surat al-Fatiha.